noble, heroic, courageous, much stronger than I was at that point in time. I told him when I first met him, he was the greatest man God ever put on the face of the earth. And uh, I still feel that way. Jody's husband, Bud Hubbard, lost his battle with ALS September 27, 2008. Emmy Hornstein's husband, Marshall, passed away from the same disease June 23, 2008. He was happy. He was a very nice man. Again, like on his tombstone, we all decided that he was a man of integrity. Both men were diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, better known as ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. The disease attacks the nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord that control voluntary muscle movement. It progresses quickly, and people can lose their ability to do daily tasks. My husband's happened to be the bulbar, and that affects in the neck to where his speech became slurred quite early. He could always talk. It affected his muscles. He could swallow. He could eat. Um, but he couldn't move. He went from 209 pounds down to approximately 115 was their best guess when he passed away. So my big, handsome, strong cowboy was a very, a very thin man by the time it was over. To him, it was a death sentence. When he was diagnosed with it, he said, I just got a death sentence. There's absolutely nothing we can do about it. Scientists at the University of Denver are working to change that. Dan Linsman has been working on treatments for ALS for three years now. His research is focused in two areas. We're working with a, a number of different compounds. Um, a couple of them are actually in things like strawberries. They're called anthocyanins. And we're finding that in, in cell culture models, they're very good antioxidants and protect nerve cells very well. What I am working on is um, interactions of proteins that are pro-survival and antioxidants just to try to figure out what is occurring during ALS disease progression. Um, we think that maybe those proteins are not available um, or not present as much as they would be in a healthy individual. Linsman believes the protein research is a more long-term approach, whereas the antioxidant research might show benefits quicker. That's why I decided to get a lot of my students involved in the supplements and antioxidants, because we can go after those right away. One thing that as a researcher I try to be very careful of is to not give people false hope or overstate claims, that sort of thing. I guess what I would say is that I'm, I'm there are two things. One thing is I'm very pleased that so many of the young people, the students particularly, have become so invested in the research. I mean, I have a lot of young kids in here that work a lot of hours because they're, I think they realize, at least I've tried to, to get it across to them, that what we're doing doesn't exist in a vacuum. It's important. And some discovery in the laboratory could end up, you know, really helping these patients one day. And the only way to get at that is to work hard. With the hard work, Linsman and his students hope there are developments that will help patients in the next couple of years. It's wonderful news to people like Jody and Emmy. So when there's anyone out there that is dedicating their time, their life, their mind to, to support, research, and, and help, then I think for those of us who've lost someone, we latch on to that because it's hope.